My 16 years old daughter was followed by a car and then chased on foot by two men. My daughter is visiting our home state and was with a friend who lives next to a school. They were in the school parking lot at 10.30 p.m. and a car pulled into the parking lot. So they started to walk back to her friend's house across the field. The car started driving directly toward them. So they sped up and so did the car. They started running and cut into the field and the car pulled up and two grown men got out and chased them on foot, yelling, get the fuck back here, at them. She called me inconsolably, sobbing, asking what would have happened if they'd been caught. Her friend's parents called 911 and tried to find the car. It's hard enough growing up as a woman. But it is terrifying raising one. Knowing what is out there. Beyond teaching them caution. Arming them with pepper spray and or tasers. How do you prepare them to enter the scary world? It seems like when I was younger in college walking in pairs was pretty much the surefire way to stay safe. But now more and more I'm hearing not even that works. This almost happened to me. It's a long time PTSD. I hope they get therapy. I'm always home by 8 p.m. and out with a friend now and not by myself sadly. I had a similar thing happen when I was in high school 15 or 16 in broad daylight. I got in trouble in school for trying to buy a knife off a kid because I was so scared after. I was scared to tell my parents at first because I knew they would be upset. Not at me but I didn't want him to worry. Talking about it to a therapist helped me. I hate that teen girls go through this. Definitely buying pepper spray the second I turn 18. I can't trust people anymore. I've learned about this thanks to Reddit. And you can look into it as well. But I recommend her and her friend play Tetris. It's supposed to help reduce the risk of PTSD and flashbacks. I'm not saying they will get PTSD but it's worth a shot based on how scary that situation was. I'm glad she wasn't physically hurt. Poor kid hope she is alright. You teach her situational awareness and self-defense. Other than that the solution is we collectively raise boys the right way. And it's a challenge in a social media world when they could be bombarded by shitheads like Andrew Tate. But parents of boys need to step up here. Parent of two boys aged 10 and 8. My parents didn't do fuck all to prepare me for what beasts men can be. I had to learn on my own. I remember the first time I had to run away from a car full of men. I easily outsmarted them and escaped because I'm amazing. LMAO they were all like where'd she go? You either laugh or cry. Right? I'm sorry that happened to your daughter. It sounds like you're doing about everything a responsible parent can do. For the folks who aren't allowed to have pepper spray etc. A small screwdriver. Like six in their purse backpack can work instead. Also hairspray. The aerosol one a three ounces bottle. I'm so sorry your daughter went through that. It's hard as a mom to deal with that. Also dealing with it in Canada where I am. Tasers pepper spray are illegal in Canada. So besides teaching our daughters self-defense and cautioning them about their safety. There's not much we can do. I hope your daughter and her friend are okay and they get the self-defense items they need. If it's legal where you live. Pepper spray and a taser are a must-have for a woman going out alone and she should know how to use them. Self-defense classes also wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm only five and pretty petite so I probably won't be beating anyone up anytime soon. But it feels good knowing how to defend yourself without a weapon. Glad she wasn't hurt. Don't have any particular advice but just wanted to say talking about this is super brave and you. 
Must be one badass mom. For sure she is lucky to have you. Women post things like this. And when men get together to discuss their problems. It's all her no woman will touch my wiener. What do? Why do so many women have these experiences? Sex trafficking is becoming a much larger problem. Keep your young family safe. I remember being that age and hanging out at a school nearby and my mom was mad we stayed until dusk. At the time I didn't understand what the issue was but now realize how isolated we were. As a woman who drove a flashy car in my younger days. I was advised that if I thought I was being followed to pull into the closest police station or firehouse. You can also pull up next to the closest police car. I used to pull into a firehouse lot by my house and honk the horn or just go inside. The men come running out and typically they will stay with till the coast is clear. I long for a world where women can be themselves. Wear whatever they wish. Feel included in any activity. And go wherever they please at any time of day without even a second thought because no men wish to discourage, subjugate, traumatize, and kill women. My daughter's the same age and has to go to school miles away. By train. Honestly. We still haven't figured out an emergency strategy. We live in a fairly safe place but everywhere has its share of lunatics so the fear is always there. I don't have any advice for you but I send you and your girl best wishes. I almost never exercise outside alone anymore. Not even to my apartment gym there used to be many men outside talking on cell phones and sit chat. Night. And I just don't trust anyone anymore. Edit autocorrect changed exercise to do all twice. Ugh. Holy shit a very very similar thing happened to me at 15 but I was alone. I was walking in a safe town. Broad daylight and these men cat called me out a car window then parked and got out and started looking for me and I just ran and dove into a bush and they assumed I went to a walking trial near. Bye. After that I started carrying a whistle. Mace. One of those eye gouge things and will walk with my phone in my hand to be able to call quickly and that's all I know to do. So sorry that happened to your daughter. I'm so so sorry. Enraged and frustrated by this story. We're simply never safe. It's horrible. I had to teach my daughter if she ever had a problem with someone trying to get in her car or worse. Drive into a parked car and cause a big, fat, loud scene. We'll deal with the fallout. And wasp spray has an awesome range. I don't care if that's considered weaponry too. A shot in the face will indeed work. We all hate this. Our daughters are potential victims by virtue of existing on the planet. Enough. We love our dogs. Having a couple large ones tend to discourage interactions too. She's going to have to be more cautious in places like that. Not blaming her. But being in a parking lot after dark is not a good choice. You need to have a talk with her about being more aware of her surroundings. The Gift of Fear is a good book. Get the fuck back here. As if they're going to turn around like oh okay. Sorry I didn't realize. It'll come back now. Jesus. You can't chill outside in peace without some crazy after you. I am glad your girl is okay and she is going to be messed at least a little from this. I would put her in self-defense class. Be blunt let her read. Gift of fear. And other things. Her and her friend had good instincts to leave when they did. I agree with Gunn but that ain't everyone's cup of tea. Your daughter did everything she could be expected to do and she can file a police report and inform the campus. Young women being kidnapped is a fucked up fact of life.